Hello, and welcome to the first episode in this new series called Legacy. In this series, we'll be exploring the genomes created through my True Evolution Challenge. We'll look at what their ancestry is, what challenges they completed, and then take a look under the hood and see what makes them tick. I'm really excited to start discussing the lineage of the descendants of Eve, and I'm hoping you are too. And for anyone who's interested, that lineage currently looks like this. Today we'll be going back to where it all began and taking a look at Eve. It's hard to be specific about Eve's ancestry. We know she is descended from one of these original cells, but not specifically which one. This plate was left to cultivate, and eventually a dominant species emerged. I am almost certain that Eve is descended from this species, and in fact this species almost was Eve, but it was unable to complete the first challenge. Back to the plate, and after a little more cultivation, Eve was born. This is one of my all-time favourite moments of the series so far. The way Eve bursts on the scene, with that brilliant blue that many of her descendants still carry, is quite a powerful sight. Eve then went on to complete not just one challenge, but both algae and algae too. The previous species had barely been able to survive on those challenges substrates, but Eve thrived. It was clear to me now that we had a strong base to begin my true evolution challenge. So what makes Eve Eve? How does she function? What does her genome look like? Well I put together a graph of the basics of Eve's reproduction. This graph shows all 20 modes of her genome, what type of cell they are, which mode is the initial cell, whether they make a decent, which child cells they create, and whether those children keep a decent. You'll notice that I've also marked out in green the parts of her genome that Eve actually uses, and for the moment I'd like us to just look at the children of both these modes. M19 creates one M19 and one M13, then M13 creates two M19s. Now let's have a look at the characteristics of M19 and M13. The keen-eyed among you may have already spotted something, but for those who haven't, watch this. Here's M19, and here's M13. Now, I encourage you to rewind and play spot the difference, because you're only going to find a couple, and none of them are in the slider bars. That's right, the two modes that Eve uses do exactly the same thing. And, if we look back at that graph again, you'll see that apart from M19 being the initial cell, all their other stats are the same. The two modes that Eve uses both have the same characteristics and reproduce in the same way. So, what are these characteristics? Well, looking at them side by side again, they have a fairly mid-range split mass, a split ratio that slightly favours the first child, a split angle of around 30 degrees with each child angled either side of 180 degrees. No red colour, a small amount of green and a goodly portion of that recognisable blue, with some fairly stiff adhesion. All of this adds up of course to our quick spreading couplets of Eve cells and the mother of all things. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe for more.